Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Making IT Simple. In previous video, we have seen about basics of CPU scheduling. Now before we move on to scheduling algorithms, let us understand some concepts related to CPU scheduling. And during this video, we will be referencing about process lifecycle. So do catch up on that, link is in the description below. So without wasting time, let us start with the first concept. Let us start with the arrival time. It is a time at which the process arrives in a ready queue. Let's break it down. So process begins its life cycle in a new state and then moves to the ready state. Let us say you write a program or a code and save it. It will be saved in hard disk that is secondary memory. When you need to execute the program, scheduler will pick the program from secondary memory to place it in the main memory for execution. So when this gets picked up, the process gets created or the process is in the new state. Now the scheduler will place it in the main memory or RAM in a queue. Because it is not the only process, it will be placed in a queue with other processes. When process is placed in a ready queue, it is in the ready state, ready for execution. And when process enters the ready queue, that particular time is the arrival time that's the time it arrived in the ready state or ready queue for example 7 30 pm now let us see about the burst time it is a time or duration required by a process for cpu execution let us try to simplify it our process is in the ready queue and its arrival time is 7 30. now after some time it got to running state that means cpu started its execution cpu executed it for two minutes then the process went for waiting state for some io operations maybe for user input after completing the io operation it went again to the ready queue and after some time again it got scheduled for cpu execution this time it got executed for three minutes and after 3 minutes, it got completely executed. That means it got to terminated state. So it spent time at ready queue, CPU execution and waiting state. But it got executed by CPU for a total of 5 minutes. So the boss time for this process will be 5 minutes. That is duration required for CPU execution. It is a duration not the point of time so for our example the burst time will be five minutes now let us see the completion time let us understand with previous example our process had arrival time of 7 30 and it required five minutes for cpu execution but that does not mean our process got executed completely at 7 35 it spent time other than cpu execution so it arrived at 7.30, it was in ready queue, let's say for 2 minutes. Then it got executed by CPU for 2 minutes. Then it went for IO operation, let's say for 1 minute. Then it went back to the ready queue and it was there for let's say 2 minutes. And then it again got executed by CPU for 3 minutes. And then finally got terminated. So after arrival time, it spent 10 minutes before getting completely executed. So it's completed its execution at 7.40 pm. So this will be its completion time, 7.40 pm. It is again a point of time at which it completes its, its execution. So arrival time and completion time are point of time, whereas the burst time is the duration. Please keep this difference in mind. Now let us move on to turnaround time. It is a time difference between completion time and arrival time. Just by reading this, you must have understood what that means. Our process arrived in the ready queue at 7.30 pm. That is its arrival time. And got completely executed at 7.40 pm. That is its completion time. So if I ask you what was the turnaround time for this process, 
then you need to simply subtract arrival time from the completion time so 740 minus 730 we get 10 minutes so the turnaround time for our process was 10 minutes it is the duration from arriving in a ready queue until the process gets completely executed and terminated and again you will notice that turnaround time is the duration so the turnaround time for our process is 10 minutes next we have is the waiting time it is a time difference between turnaround time and burst time so our process spent 10 minutes in this complete cycle but out of it how much time it actually was executed by cpu it was 5 minutes which is our burst time so out of these 10 minutes it was executed for just 5 minutes rest of the time it spent elsewhere that time that it spent elsewhere other than burst time is the waiting time and how to calculate it we need to simply subtract the burst time from the turnaround time so we have a turnaround time of 10 minutes and burst time of 5 minutes so subtracting 5 from 10 we get 5 so we get 5 minutes as the waiting time again you will see or you will notice that the waiting time is also a time duration not a point of time so for our process the waiting time was 5 minutes and at last we have response time it is again the time difference between arrival time and the time process get cpu for the first time don't get confused let us try to break it down so our process arrived at 7 30 in ready queue but it not right away got executed if you remember it waited for two minutes and then it got executed by cpu for the first time so the time process get cpu first time for our process it's 7 30 pm plus two minutes that is 7 32 pm so our process got its cpu execution for the first time at 7 32 pm so as we have both these values we can calculate the response time so the response time is a time process get cpu for the first time minus the arrival time so the process get cpu for the first time was at 732 and the arrival time for our process is 730 so 732 minus 730 we will get a response time as two minutes so for our particular process the response time is two minutes now these are all the terms related to cpu scheduling for understanding i have taken the time or duration in minutes but generally it is in milliseconds so hope you understood all the terms and how they are calculated if your doubts got cleared and you understood the concept like the video and share it with your friends classmates or colleagues and for more such simplified and amazing videos subscribe my channel making it simple and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos on the channel see you in the next video thank you